It is the first day of class for thousands of students at Wake County Schools. We have team coverage for you this morning throughout the county and monitoring the roads and weather from right here in the studio for you. And if this is part of your new routine to get school started, thanks for including us. I'm Jeff Hogan. And I'm Renee Chu. The Dummy Real Pet Squad is here <laughs> to get you ready for this Let's first go. day of school. That's right. <laughs> Kids, teachers and parents, you've got this. Today, thousands of students are headed back to class in the state's biggest school district. It is the first day for Wake County Schools, and WREL is your back to school headquarters. We have team coverage as your new morning routines ramp up, including keeping an eye on the weather and traffic this morning. WREL's Kelsey Coffee joins us live from the Wake County Bus Depot on Rock Quarry Road. That's where she's tracking bus delays. Kelsey, you've been checking this ever so often. How many have you seen in the past 30 minutes? Chris, in the past 30 minutes, we've seen 32 total delays. So that's up from about 29, what we saw in the last half hour. So, of course, this lot now is empty as all of those buses are off to pick up students. But we'll take you to some video now so you can see drivers there preparing their buses to pick up the kids. So we're tracking over 30 delays so far this morning out of nearly 200 schools in the district. The latest delays we're seeing are an hour behind schedule. That's for two different routes that are headed to Millbrook High School. There is a new bus delay notification system this school year. Parents can now receive text messages and emails about bus delays. You can also still go to the district's website for updates. So we'll be sure to keep tracking these bus delays throughout the morning. Kelsey Coffee, WRL News, live in Raleigh. And this year, Wake County is rolling out new policies aimed at making sure that students are safe, fed, and that teachers are being fairly paid for their work. WRL's Laura Levine is live at Green Magnet Elementary School. And Laura, the district has a new system that they hope will help with student safety, which is so important. Absolutely. Good morning, Michelle. And we are beginning to see students arrive here at Green Magnet Elementary School. But in the next 10 to 15 minutes is really when we're going to see the buses and vehicles rolling in here to welcome back those students. Some good news to report. They'll have more educators inside school buildings like this one in Wake County Public Schools. The district says school vacancies are down. 253 teaching positions are vacant. That's 59 less than at the start of last year. Wake school employees will also see bigger paychecks this year as pay raises are in effect. The raises include a 4% increase in total salary or local salary supplement for teachers. Salaries for teachers with no experience start at $48,339. $20 minimum salary for bus drivers and $17.75 an hour for other support staff. I spoke with Superintendent Robert Taylor earlier this morning about some of his priorities for this year. It levels the playing field. It is very exciting to know that my leaders have the choice of having not only free breakfast, but free lunch daily. And so it's long overdue, and we're very excited to have been chosen as one of those schools. And that is the principal of Green Magnet Elementary School. This school is one of dozens that was qualified for a program for free, free meals. So many people excited about providing free breakfast and lunch to students. So Laura Levine, WRL News, live in Raleigh. And keeping your kids cool as they return to class is a priority during the heat that we're experiencing. Today, Wake County school leaders will receive an update about HVAC systems in schools. Wake schools closed more than 40 times in the past year because of failing HVAC systems. And some areas of concern being addressed today are the age of these systems and staffing. That meeting gets started at 1 o'clock this afternoon. 